Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Howdy, kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican, and today we're back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked 3v3 Battle Stadium singles with Monotype Fairy. So, if you didn't know, uh, I don't know, is Valentine's Day celebrated like throughout the entire world? I honestly don't know. I pr pretty much never celebrate it, but today we're celebrating it on the channel. We're rocking out with the Mono Fairy team. I thought I've been doing Monotypes. Is Valentine's Day? Sure. Fairies, Valentine, I don't know. Cupid shoots a bow it's it's pretty similar enough regardless monotype fairy uh, we got some crowd favorites as well as some new pokemon we haven't used yet up first we got a bit of a funny flutter main set so uh if you guys want to know all the eevee spreads to these particular pokemon usually they're like max max but every once in a while I'll do some intricate spreads uh, but regardless the poker pace will be in the description down below right next to where it says team so up first we have flutter main who has uh just enough speed to um have one point above its special attack while being timid and um so we can get the plus speed on the boost of energy but we're also calm mine draining kiss because i was all like i'm gonna at least put draining kiss on one of the guys it, the other only other option would have been sylveon but i was like i sylveon needs all its moves in order to like hit a lot of the meta so i was like nah i, I can't i can't really do that but regardless we got it on the homie flutter man we also are terrifier because i couldn't i hope i don't know if you could tell or not, but uh, Mono Fairy is pretty weak to steal, so we kind of needed something uh, to be able to wall, or not wall, but the, to be able to at least live one hit from a steel type and fire off a, a very strong Terra Fire, Mystical Fire. Up next, and then shot of all for the last of coverage. I was thinking Psy Shock, but I was all like, if we run into a Cellar Ledge, it'll be pretty tough to try and break it with Flutter Main. Up next, we got the homie Iron Valiant, straight up, the same one that we've been using uh, since Series 2 dropped. Uh, Moonblast, Close Combat, and then Close Combat, Close Combat with the Choice Specs, Thunderbolt, and Psy Shock, because that hits pretty much everything in the game for really huge damage. Terra Fairy, Moonblast is also pretty unguardable. It's, this Pokemon is so good, it's like a, a lead breaker and an end gamer if you're faster than all the other Pokemon, so pretty solid. Up next, we got the homie Tinka Ton with the Terra Ice. The only reason why with Terra Ice is because I know it's still weak to fire with it, but Jolly, max attacks Tinkaton, does not Oko, max HP Garchomp with Ice Hammer unless you Terrestrialize. It's kind of silly, but it is what it is. We are Air Balloon, so we can get, at the very least, a free turn in front of any ground type, and then hit them with an Ice Hammer. This will actually be really good for backs, like something like Bax Calibur, uh, because we can uh, not get hit by Earthquake and fire off a huge Gigaton Hammer if they stay Ice, and then a huge Ice Hammer if they want to become ground like a lot of them have been becoming lately and then we have knockoff on the homie just in case we need some sort of like thing some sort of productivity at a ticket ton at the very least we'll give it of an item and that's kind of what i'm hoping for uh with her today up next we got the homie sylveon uh not max spadef but a decent amount of spadef maybe I, mean, I know it's got a lot of hp but it's also speed creeping some things so uh but yeah this is our, this is our special tank can um tank hits from the likes of flutter main and i think to it ko with psy shock don't quote me on that uh, I'm pretty sure I talked about this earlier. I just do not remember. And then Terra Blast Fire for, once again, those Steel types. Those pesky Steel types running around. And uh, Terra Blast is also really good in case, like, some Throat Chop users running around. Or, like, we get disabled with Hyper Voice. Or, like, it's it's pretty it's pretty good still. Uh, I really like Sylveon in this meta with all these special attackers running around. It's, it's proved to be very reliable, at least for me. Up next, we got the homie Huge Power Mystic Water. Uh, Azumarill. <laughs> Terra Water Liquidation is kind of crazy. I did practice with this team a little bit on Showdown, and I can't tell you. I can tell you. But it was like three times. Azumarill clutched out like every single battle with Terra Water Aqua Jet. It was pretty sick. Trailblades can give you a plus one speed boost, which could be pretty funny. But uh, our main form of speed control, is, speed control is actually in the next mod, Scream Tail. It's Terra Steel, uh, once again for the Steel types. Uh, it's, so this is not something you should ever do, especially in 3v3s. This Pokemon does not have a damaging move. Couldn't know, didn't know if you could notice or not. Does not have a damaging move. Stealth Rocks, T-Wave, Call My Baton Pass. All of it does have a purpose. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. But I do not advise to ever use a Pokemon like this. Don't use a Pokemon that doesn't have an attacking move. You need at the very least one move. I, I could definitely uh, trade Calm Mind for Draining Kiss. Not Calm Mind. I could definitely trade Baton Pass for Draining Kiss. But the whole purpose of it is to try and Calm Mind Baton Pass into Fluttermane or Iron Valiant. Uh, or even Sylveon. Um, so that's kind of what we're trying to go for. Uh, Thunder Wave is really good for speed control against opposing flood, Flutter Mains, against uh, just really fast Pokemon. 
the base 100s after getting paralyzed, our Zimmer will outspeed them, so that's pretty cool. And then a Stealth Rock just for like Stealth Rock in case we needed it. I guess I guess the, the attacking move could be uh, in place of Stealth Rock, but I, I don't know. I, I most likely I'm not going to be bringing this to the, any of the battles anyways, but if I do see like a solid lead that I, that, that Scream Tail can have, like a Scream Tail, Scream Tail can kind of just set up in front of like Dondozo, except for my Yanmi. Um... I had a whole list of them in my head, but now I just can't not remember them. It can set up in front of a lot of walls, is what I'm trying to say. And at the very least, it's going to T-Wave something that's faster than it. And that's like, proves to be really, really beneficial for it. The only thing, not the only thing, one of the things that the team is Omega super weak against, obviously, is uh is Goldengo. Kind of can just nasty plot in front of a few of my guys and fire off some strong moves. But we can also, we can always Terra Water our Azu and then Liquidation and the Aqua Jet, surely two of KOs, I'm assuming. I don't know. But uh, we'll find out if that scenario uh, comes up. We'll we'll hopefully learn from it and uh, see what happens. I, I've kind of been rambling on in the intro. Let's see what Mono Fairy can do. Can it get some wins? I on Valentine's Day can it? I think it can. Okay. So the crappy thing about this is I just looked at my my win loss ratio. I have 12 more wins than I have losses. But we probably will going to be we probably are going to be losing some of those today. We do see a Goldengo. We do see a Meowskarada. Rotom Heat, uh, Valiant, and Fighting Boy, and the other dudes. So, things we could do. The cat is looking pretty destructive. I would like to just... I'm honestly... I'm bringing Screamtail game one, man. <laughs> We're going to see how it goes. We're going to bring Screamtail, and then I think Fluttermane looks pretty solid. I can call mine in front of Rotom, as well as Iron Valiant, if it's... Um, what's it called? If it's uh, special. Um, and then I guess Azu. My Azu should outpace uninvested uh, Iron Hands. But I don't think you would bring Iron Hands to the Mono Fairy matchup. Yeah, uninvested I would. Because they're the same speed tier. And I have a little bit of speed. So yeah, let's go for it. Um, I guess that's it, yeah. I mean, they have to bring Goldengo. But if I can get up, I guess if I, I guess I just get up Stealth Rocks in that scenario. Yeah, I just sack off my guy and get up Stealth Rocks. I don't know. Looking pretty tough for you heroes here. <laughs> if your heroes are the fairy types. Lead Goldengo probably just messes me up. Low key, just click make it rain. Sylveon I usually use as the Goldengo bait on all my other teams. But uh, we'll see. This looks like Goldengo. It's Rotom. Alright, cool. So they might choice lock me, which I'm honestly okay with. Getting up rocks is really good, especially for this guy specifically. This this thing is huge. Okay, so they are going to choice lock me into... I mean, is it Specs or Scarf? It's Scarf, right? Yeah, it's Scarf. It has to be Scarf. All right, cool. So I got a Scarf. They. This means that none of their other guys are Scarfers. I've been here before, low-key. Uh, funny enough, in uh, in one of the um, practice matches I did on Showdown, uh, the same exact scenario happened. And I just went hard into Fluttermane. It was with the same team comp, too. I went hard into Fluttermane and then Calm Mind... After they Volt Switched into Goldengo, um, and Terrifier killed them, I think. Let's see what happens. Fluttermane versus Rotom Heat. Because they, they should, they should Volt Switch here. But we'll get a Speed Raise. Let's see what they do. Will-O-Wisp. Perfect. That's actually perfect, because now, now we get off a of Calm Mine. The freest Calm Mine. Let's go. Then we can kiss whatever comes in. Or we can Terrifier on the Goldengo, which would be nice. So yeah, let's call mine. They know we're Booster. They're going to assume a Shadow Ball's coming out here, I guess. So they might go into the Rock type. It's looking like they might. Yep, they do. Okay, uh, this kind of sucks. Actually, because Moonblast would surely do big damage to this guy. Um, I'm assuming you're max spadef, but just in case you're not. Plus one. I'm actually I actually think since they're most likely gonna salt cure, I'm gonna call mine again before I turn fire type. I'm just gonna call mine again, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna call mine again. Cause they should salt cure me here. Or they might they might get a rocks themselves. Salt cure, yep. Let's see how much this does. It does a lot. Ugh. More than I'd like to see. 
I really want to call mine again on their protect. Because I definitely... Or they, they might protect or recover. But I also don't want, like, all my turns to just go to waste. If they, like, Earthquake here. Let's see. 77 to 59. I think I would actually die the next turn. So I think I am just going to Draining Kiss in hopes that they don't protect or recover. Okay, they didn't protect. They're Spadef, and I lose this exchange, I think. Let's see what they clicked. They do click Salt Cure again. So it goes down from... So it does about 70. So yeah, I will die the next turn if I don't kiss him. But I'm, I have to assume they're going to protect, right? I want to try to read the protect. But honestly, this is pretty good for Azu because I Oko the, the Rotom Heat as it switches back in uh, because of rocks. So as long as it's not like the cat in the back, we should be fine here. I'm going to kiss him. They do protect. Ah, I knew I should have read the protect. Should have should have trusted my gut. Should have trusted my gut. That's fine though. We can kiss him again. Best case scenario, they go into Rotom on this kiss. That'd actually be the best. Oh, I think Salkir actually just kills me here. <gasps> no, let's go. All right, sick. So yeah, we're going to get big damage off on them. Not really, because they're just going to recover here. Oh, they do go back into Rotom. Okay. Cool. So I can kind of save my... Uh, I can almost... I can pretty much almost save my guy. Let's see how much this does. That did a lot. Yeah, I can save my guy. Or I could just kill it. I guess. I could also do that. But yeah, this is why you don't want to bring... This is kind of why you don't want to bring uh, Screamtail. Because it's kind of just a sitting duck now. Especially since it's choice spec, choice uh, Scarf Locked. I feel like Draining Kiss does enough to knock it out. Um, Actually, it didn't. But I think they might go back out into the Rock Boy. I'm just going to Shadow Ball in, in anyways, I guess. Okay, they do stay in. And I go down here. But I get to go Ozzy. I get to go Azu because if they go anyone that's not Garganical, I can sack off my Screamtail and see what they go for. And then, if they, like, try to do something fancy, I can, uh, Thunder Wave them. But alright, Fluttermane got a little bit off on the Garganical and knocked out the Rotom Heat. So I guess, it's, I guess it did a, you know, it didn't do as well what we wanted to do, obviously. Uh, but yeah, let's go Azu. See what they want to go into. If it's Garganical, we just get to fire off a Terra Water Liquidation. If it's Goldango, we do the same thing. And we'll see what happens. This is not Garganical, right? It is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So if they protect here, that's very silly of them. Because I could easily belly jump here. But I'm just going to get a strong liquidation off. And see what they want to do. They might also terror themselves. Which will be fine. I'm pretty sure Salt Cure becomes super effective against water types on the... Uh, on the dot damage hit. You know, damage over time hit. I can't remember the, what the word is Nick's trying to think of. They do protect. That's so crazy to me, bro. I could have belly jumped. Like, hello? Like, why would you do that? That's so silly. That's so silly. Whatever, man. I mean, no one wants to switch into Terra Water anyways. This guy, I'm assuming, is going to die if he if he stays in. Um, if They they could Terra Ghost, I guess. But, I mean, I'm, all, I'm just going to cl still click Liquidation. Terra Ghosting is probably their best play. Yep, and they're going to. What a fucking silly head, bro. Like, if this was a belly drum, Ozzy, you fucking lost. <laughs> like, that's so dumb to me. Let me just protect. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Terra Flying. Since we know there's Spud Def. This two it KOs. Yeah, two it KOs. This is fine. Almost O code. They recover. Bruh. Alright, I guess we'll fish for a defense drop. I don't know. Man, this guy gave my Azu so many turns. He's going to protect again like a weirdo. He's got a fish for... I mean, we always 2 a KO. So, like, yeah. We'll just fish for a defense drop. It's whatever. We'll keep clicking them. We could even crit on one of these turns. Terra Water Azu is definitely uh, the win con for sure. And it can, definitely can do it, especially if it's like, uh, if it's Meowskerod on the back, then no. 
But if it's uh, like Goldango in the back, I like our chances. Because I'll go into... Uh, well, I don't know what I... Actually, I guess I would just go into the Jigglypuff and sack it off, huh? They're just going to... Okay, they're just going to recover spam. I mean, that's your third, right? Second or third, one of the two. I think they recovered once in front of Fluttermane. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's either your second or third. So that's fine. Keep doing it. I have so... How many liquidations do I have? I have enough. I have enough. I can even start clicking play rough on the obvious protect turns if I want to, but I don't think I need to yet. I don't think I need to yet. But yeah, we're fishing for a crit. They're they're playing with fire, even though it's water. We'll see. We'll see how this one ends. I kind of like our chances. Kind of like our chances. I definitely don't want to like go hard enough into the scream tail on one of their uh, on one of their protect turns because I feel like that'd be a little silly. There we go, defense drop, boom, got it. Now they can't even do this anymore. So now they either switch out or they click protect, whichever doesn't matter to me. Neither matters to me. All that matters to me is that we get to retain Azu's full HP and knock out the guy. Go ahead, protect. Go ahead. That shit don't matter. Because you will be dying this next turn. I saw it. Maybe they didn't see the defense drop and they're going to stay in and give it to me. Which is would be really nice. And then we still have 8 liquidations uh, that would uh, for sure knock out like Goldengo and stuff. Goldengo and friends. Alright, let's click liquidation. Hopefully it's like Iron Valley in the back and I can T-wave it. No, whoever's, hit, whoever's taking this, this is, this is a throw on their part. Go Dango. Boom. We won. We won. Let's go. Right, how much does it do? Let's see. They... Oh, it just kills. We won. Easy. It's not hard, guys. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Terra Water Ozzy kind of crazy. I love this Pokemon. And they played it very silly, in my opinion. Like, they protected on the first turn, where I could have just, like, hella belly drummed. Um, but yeah, now they take rocks damage from life. Yeah, so this is perfect. We're fine. We quite literally win here. Yep, there we go. Shout out to Terra Water Ozzy. All right, so we brought Scream Tail for the one time. Probably not bringing it again because that almost somewhat cost us this game. It was 2v3, essentially. Shout out to Fluttermane, too. All right, and there's a freaking Dondozo. Things you don't like to see. Honestly, Diane, I think I'm going to lead off with Sylveon. And probably, uh, if they lead um, Goldengo, I'm probably just going to have to do the thing. Am I Mold Breaker on Tinkaton? I really hope I am. I am. Okay, perfect. So that could be good. Actually, wait. I'd leave Tinkaton here. I definitely leave Tinkaton here. And then we're going to keep Sylveon in the back to try and 1v1 the Goldengo. And I think I actually need Fluttermane specifically because of uh, the, the dragon they have. I can't remember its name. The other guy. Uh, Dragonite. Yeah, that one. Because uh, otherwise, we kind of just lose to E speed. This is a really good lead, though. Choice Specs, Choice Specs Valiant. It's so solid. Um... But I think I, I, I like this. I like I like this lead that I have. Tinkaton probably should have also been support instead of like attempt to make it offensive. It's not a really good offensive Pokemon if we're being honest. But yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go for it. See what it's doing. Because if they lead back Caliber, which would be pretty nice against us. I mean, we are Mono Fairy, so maybe they're scared of it. But um, if they do lead back Caliber against us, I can definitely Gigaton Hammer into Ice Hammer and hopefully knock it out as they uh you know Terra Ground or something. Yes, I should. I, well, we'll calc that if he leads it. Or if they lead it. Uh, let's see. Tinkaton. Big boy Max. I'm assuming it's probably just Goldengo lead, though. There it is. Goldengo. So, we should be able to knock it off. I wonder if Moldbreaker would allow me to T-wave this, too. Um, yeah, we're going to knock it off. We are faster, so they're not Scarf. They reveal to be Covert Cloak. Pretty cool. All right. Sub. All right. They're going for it. They saw their opportunity. Um, so if they don't have an item, that did less than half. So I'm actually going to assume they're like max HP. So if they don't have an item and I knock off at plus two. Okay, so we still break sub right now. So I'm actually just going to knock off instead. Unless they're like mad defensive. But I think they're just max HP. Come on, break sub, please. 
Okay, perfect. So yeah, we shouldn't die to a make it rain here. Spe especially because they're not... Um, oh, they Shadow Ball. Especially because they're not... Um, what's it called? They break my air balloon. But we should still be faster than Garchomp. Not Garchomp. We should still be faster than... Um, Vax Calibur and Dragonite. So I kind of am okay with this. And if they opt to go into like Mimikins after this... We can uh, Gigaton Hammer it and knock it out. So yeah, really the only Pokemon I really wouldn't want to see is like... Uh, the go the Don Dozo. That's kind of it. So now we don't even need to use Sylveon for Goldengo anymore. So that's pretty cool. Knocked off a huge yeah, so now we're gonna we are gonna Gigaton hammer this thing. Um Unless there's Scarf. We should outpace them regardless. Yeah, let's just Gigaton Hammer. This should do a lot. I feel like it'll knock it out. It just knocked me <laughs> Tinkaton. Calm down, girl. I know it was Valentine's Day and he didn't call you back, but damn. Calm down. Alright, well, I don't know what they were thinking. Bax Caliber died. I don't know what that was about. I guess offensive Tinkaton was the wave. And then it's this. Bro, tell me, don't tell me he's gonna do it as well. Say it ain't so. Okay, whew. That was close. So they could Dragon Dance here. I think Fluttermane can live one since I'm a ghost type. Uh, I do have Sylveon in the back as well that I can calc some damage. I actually know that plus one Adamant. E speed doesn't knock out Sylveon. Um, so, oh, and they stayed. I mean, never mind. They Dragon Dance, I'm assuming. My, I did not know Ice Hammer did that. Okay, and the Earthquake. Alright, that's fine. This should knock me out. Um, do they need to be banded to knock me out? I assume not. From that range. No, Air Balloon. No, definitely not. Alright, so, I think. We first go Sylveon and weaken it with Hyper Voice. And then try to win with Fluttermane. Or do we do the opposite? This is actually... I think we actually gotta try to kill it with Sylveon. Hyper Voice should 2 it KO from this range. Um, and I'm not gonna Terra... I'm not gonna Terrify, because that's kind of silly. They do Earthquake. So they're banded, I'm assuming. So they gotta be banded. In order to do that much to Sylveon, right? Yes. Yes, they do. Alright, so... I win. I win with Fluttermane. Perfect. <laughs> it took all our Pokemon, but we did it. Yo, shout out to Tinkaton, weakening the team. That was crazy. That was actually wild. That was actually wild. Um, and just to show it off, I think I'm gonna Mystical Fire. Uh, kissing him should do the deed, but if they're max HP, and nah, I will just kiss him. We sh this should kill. Just kiss him. Mwah. Let's go. Finish it off with a kiss. Hey, I mean. Model Fairy got two wins so far. Pretty fire. I thought my win loss was going to suffer. <laughs> Shout out Tinkaton. Who would have thought? It's crazy. I did not think that. I did not think it O-Code Bax. I know it's Gigaton Hammer and everything, but Bax Calibur's got a high HP stat. All right, last one. Can we get three wins with the Model Fairy team? We do see a Bax Calibur once again. Rotom Wash, Iron Valiant, the Dragon Flying type, that's a part of the Soul Link that I can't remember its name right now, Altaria, and Icy Boys. So, physical mons don't look all that good here, if I'm being honest. Uh, Azu looks pretty solid, though, ironically, even though I said uh, what I just said. Um, would they lead off with... Honestly, if they lead... Actually, yeah. Let's lead off with Fluttermane. Let's just go for it. Because if they lead off with the Snowman, then we're solid. And if they lead off with the Iron Moth, we can Calm Mind it. If they lead off with the Bax Calibur, uh, we might want to switch out into uh, Ozu, I guess? I don't know, honestly. Bax Calibur really looks insane, though. Wait, let's see. Does, does Iron Valiant specs knock out uh, Obama Snow? Just max HP. Moonblast does not. That's tough. I need something that... I, I know Flutter may not Oko's it. The only issue is just the freaking Bax Calibur lead. But I feel like if you're... Yeah, no. You're leading Obama Snow if you're bringing Bax. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do this for Psyshock. And then let's go 
you to end game. We haven't brought Valiant yet. So yeah, we brought everyone else so far. Haven't brought Valiant yet. Can we get three wins in a row with the Mono Fairy team? Let's find out. First two games are pretty solid. Not gonna lie. Tinkaton kind of bippity boop bopped. Which Tinkaton also would have been not bad against these guys, but I don't think it oko to bomb us them, unfortunately, because of the snow. It almost did. And they fucking lead off with Bax Caliber, because of course they do. Alright, well. Bax Caliber. Like, surely they would want to switch out here. Right? Because a Moonblast would absolutely destroy them. A Moonblast would destroy them. You gotta switch out, right? Surely. I could Terra Fire on their Ice move. They could be a Solvest as well, though. Um, I guess I'm just gonna weaken this. It's my strongest move. Uh, Draining Kiss, Shadow Ball, if, if they Terra, which they should. Um, so yeah, I'll Shadow Ball. And they do Terra. Alright, perfect. So as long as it's... Hopefully it's Ghost. That'd be sick. Hopefully it's my Series 1 Bex Calibur, but it's probably ground like the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Who would have thought? Me. I would have thought. I already knew this. So let's see. Maybe they dance. Lowest for death. Ice Ghost Spirit. I should have Terra Fired like I wanted to. Uh, was that Assault Vest? No, that was just a low roll Shadow Ball. They're loaded dice. And I don't think I can beat this, ironically enough. Are they in range of Valiant now? I have to hope. They are. Not. Wait a minute. That's that's Dragon. Terra Ground. They are. Okay. And the only switch into this is the Iron Moth, which I guess they should have brought, right? I knew they were leading back Caliber, man. They always fucking do, you know? I should have just let off a Tinkaton. Like I wanted to. Alright. That's out of the way. Uh, I think they know I have to be Specs. No, I guess I don't have to be Specs to knock them out. Uh, yeah, I could have just got a high roll with Scarf. Or, like, any other item. But, obviously, obviously Valiant Specs. Like, what else are you gonna be? You could be that heinous Encore Debon set. Which I was thinking about bringing today. But I was like, nah, I like using my shiny. I'm just gonna use my shiny one. They bring in their own Valiant, so I will be winning the speed tie. Or I could Terra Fairy here. Iron Moth is probably in the back. And I'm gonna have to just assume that Sylveon can live a hit. Let's do it. Because we live a hit on our own, on ourselves, for sure. Uh, if we tear a fairy, right? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Actually, if they're specs and they win the speed tie, they still Oko us with Moonblast. So let's just win the speed tie. Leaf Blade. Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. Wow, what the hell? Let's go. This is why you don't run physical Valiant, guys. Special is always better. Sash. Can we win the speed tie this time, please? Can we win the speed tie this time, please? We're timid, Max Max. Come on, one out of two, right? One out of two? Destiny Pond! <laughs> Why, dude? <laughs> Why? Why does this happen to me every time? I should've went hard Sylvie on a quick attack. Why, dude? Why did they win the speed tie? I was, I'm timid Max Max too, man. That's so upsetting. Well, honestly, let's hope it's Iron Moth in the back. And Sylveon can 1v1 it, right? Iron Moth. With Booster. Sludge Wave with Booster. I should be able to... If I get a high roll with Psy Shock, I knock him out. And then even if I get a low... Yeah, no. Nah, I, need, I need a very decent roll with Psy Shock. It is Iron Moth. Yeah, I need a very decent roll with a Psy Shock. See, modest. Make it be speed. It's special attack. Alright. I mean, we live. We live, and Psyshock has an 18% chance to knock them out. Let's go for it. Sludge Wave, we live this. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty well, actually. 
Slash shock, knock him out. Come on, Sylveon, do it for me. On Valentine's Day. Oh, is that, that's gotta be quick attack range, man. It's not, but it's gotta be. It's gotta be, come on. Oh, so close, man. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Dude, all, literally all we needed was to win one of those speed ties with Iron Valiant. Well, actually, the second one. We needed to win the second one. And then we were fine. But that, I mean, that is what it is. That is. This team was very weak to a lot of these Pokemon, like Goldengos, Iron Moths. And honestly, I'm pretty proud that we were able to beat both Goldengo teams. And the only one we dropped to, unfortunately, was the Iron Moth. If I had just a little bit more special attack invested... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm 244 special attack, modest, not 252, which didn't change it by much. It actually didn't change it at all. Never mind. It was still the same percentage chance to knock it out. So regardless, that's going to be our monotype fairy showcase. One, two out of three battles. Not too bad. Um, Sylveon did fail me on Valentine's Day, unfortunate, but that's going to be it. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Why'd I say that? Peace. Have a good day. I used you to say peace. Peace also means have a good day. What what do you what do you what do you